Right guys, so basically it's finished updating here. Yeah? As you, as sorry for the shaking guys. So as you can see, it's done updating. So that's me guys, that's Joe Trans, right? Let me just uh I need to put in my password. So just give me a second. I'm gonna use the on screen keyboard. It shouldn't take too long. Righty then, so it should let me do what I want to do now, hopefully. I knew something was up. I knew I knew something was up because my Steam Deck doesn't do that. You know, my Steam Deck never has that issue of not starting properly. You understand? So I knew something was up. Right, so the first things first, you need to get things going. So that is the Dual X, that's a PlayStation emulator. Uh, you see it's starting up. It's trying to start up in the background. That's DS4 Windows. That's what I use emulation for uh, for the gamepad. So this, I don't know why the emulation is not, not loading up. Uh, let me try and open it. So that's the emulation for the gamepad, guys. So to edit this, you look for a profile. That's a profile, right? And if you press edit, the gamepad comes out. So that's how you edit stuff. And when you're done, you can either cancel, apply, or save. So the moment is running PS4 gamepad because uh, basically I haven't yet started up a game. Uh, I'm gonna. This is for resolution, something for resolution that I use. So basically, before I, before I actually have a game loaded, I can actually select between uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox. So I've got PS4 up there, I've got Xbox 360. So if it's Xbox 360, it actually shows you the Xbox 360 is right there. I don't know if this thing's trying to zoom in. It looks like it's trying to zoom in. I'm using a different phone. Uh, it's a Reno, Oppo Reno 8 uh, Pro 5G. So basically, that's Xbox 360 gamepad, but I'm going to select PS4 gamepad. And what I need, I'm going to take that to the other screen because I'm using two monitors on my Steam Deck. I use the Acer and I use the AOC gaming monitor. So something else that I was trying to get, this, this is actually for overclocking. So that it's, it's called a power control panel. But it's AMD power control panel. So I'm going to take that to the other monitor, like I said. The other monitor is actually using 1080 by 1920 by 1080p. Whereas this one's using the 800 by 1280 or 1280 by 800 resolution. So it just depends on what you guys understand by that. Right. So I think we're almost there. I just need this uh, mobility center thing. Yeah. So this guy's, this thingy here is from Windows 10. I know what you're thinking. How come it's on Windows 11? Well, I don't know. I don't know how I got it on Windows uh, 11. Uh, I think what happened, this is my honest opinion. I think what happened is when I had when I had uh, Windows 10 uh, and I, I was upgrading to Windows 11, I never actually fully upgraded to Windows. I'm trying to find this thing. Sometimes it doesn't load up properly. There it is. Right, so this is how I overclock the Steam Deck as well. But I need to move that to my other monitor. I'm just moving it. Like I said, uh, if, if I keep things on on this monitor, what's going to happen is it's going to overcrowd. It's going to overcrowd. And then I won't be able to, to do anything. Right, this thing for sound, the reason why I've got the sound one out is because, look, look. You see that high definition, that's the Acer monitor, the AMD high def definition, that's AOC monitor. That's Echo Dot, that's what I'm using for my speakers. I'm just moving that. The reason why I've got that on, sometimes for whatever reason, it does cut the sound out. I don't know why that happens, but I just like having that open. We're right, going to go back to Steam, and hopefully this time, it should allow me to play the demos that I, I installed from the steam fest you know the steam fest there's a lot of games uh they do like demos uh when they sell games for half price and things like that so basically so this is steam fest thingy 
Sorry, that steam that's loading up. They changed it a lot, didn't they? From the last time. Right. So why it didn't load up the, the, the other time? I don't know what happened. It says midwork deal, endless mode uh update, hell card. Uh wingspan uh midweek deal. Uncharted uh, Legacy of Thieves collection. So I don't know if you guys are into that. I'm I like Uncharted, but I've never actually played it. Uh, Ship of Fools. I don't know if you guys want to play that. Sifu Midweek uh, Special Deal. Sorry, uh, Monopoly Madness now available seventy five percent off. So if you're into Monopoly, uh, Kingdom Eighties now available. Uh, minus 10%, so if you want to get that, it's out now. I think that's also, um, it's affirmed that it works on the Steam operating system. So if you've got Steam operating system on your deck, it'll work. A Dark Deception, now available. There's so many games coming out on Steam. Oh, it's Sea, it's sea of Thieves, right? Sea of Thieves. Where's the sound on this thing? Right, so package info. So if you guys like playing Sea of Thieves, uh, for graphics it's uh, GTX 650. So I'm guessing that's about one gig of VRAM. Goes up to GTX 770, so that's about three gigs of VRAM. I'm only looking from the Nvidia side of things. So that's the Sea of Thieves 2023 edition. So if you guys want to play that. right so anyway guys if you want to get that then cool i'm actually going to be testing something it says meet the patch notes you know these these guys they have a good uh, i mean i've got the raw robots thingy um what do you call this i've got war robots game but anyway i want to test the game i've got this demo unholy i don't know if it's gonna be good but i want to test undawn and Undawn is like a battle royale game. Okay, now it's launching. Last time when I tried to press on this, it wouldn't launch the game. Now, I'm, I'm not saying like it didn't work. It probably works, but I'm just saying it's because of the Windows updates, it was not working properly. So it supports a controller. It's a PvP multiplayer, a cooperative player as well. So where's the actual game? It's not showing nothing. Uh, let me close this. You know, I don't like so many things opening in the background. I'm going to leave it like this, guys, until the game starts. So, and Dawn is on the... It's on Play Store as well. So, if you've got an Android phone, and you're not really into PC gaming, if you've got an Android phone, you can play and Dawn on your Android phone. If you've got an iPhone, then you can play it on your iPhone. So, I don't know what's up, guys. I'm waiting for the game to load. Uh, so, that's my iPhone, guys. And what I'm going to show you is the game called Undawn. You know, I was kind of disappointed when they didn't release the War the Warzone mobile game. That was a big disappointment, I think. Right. So, I was aiming to play Warzone mobile. But Warzone Mobile isn't coming out until, I think, September or something. I don't know why they pushed it back. It, they said March, right? Because since last year, they've been saying that uh, it was going to come out. You see? So that's Warzone Mobile. And it was meant to have come out, like, in March. Now, look, it's 1 November. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Why is it so necessary? Why? Why is it necessary to keep pushing games backwards? I know this isn't the game we're waiting for, waiting for Undawn, but I don't think it's loaded up properly. Anyway, this is Call of Duty Wars on Mobile. I, I, I don't know why they pushed that game back. Right, so the Undawn is this one, the one I'm talking about. You can actually download this on your iPhone or your Android phone. So this is Undawn. This is the actual game that I'm trying to get to work on Steam. But for whatever reason, it's not loaded. So I've just confirmed to stop it. That's on down in the background there, guys. 
So I'm trying my best to find out why aren't these things working. Because Andon on Steam is actually a free-to-play game, so this should work. But for whatever reason, it's not. It's some kind of zombie zombie game, isn't it? So hey, let me just do that. Seeing that we're trying to get this uh, to to load on Steam. So that's Andon, guys, in the background on the Steam Deck. And it is a free-to-play game. The reason why I'm showing you on iPhone is because... The one on my Steam Deck isn't loading. It's not loading up. It's, 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 it is, it is, look, it is in the background. It is kind of loading, but it's not really loading. So, I don't know why it's like that. So, from what I can tell from the trailer, it looks like some kind of uh, zombie game. It says expansive open world. So uh, there's traveling, there's driving, uh, there's customization of your, okay, there's, you can, wow, there's crocodiles, <laughs> oh, something else, zombies, oh, look at that, monsters, helicopters, uh, bats, so it's, it, there's everything in this, right guys, look, I'm trying to get this game to start, look, it's not loading. Right, it's not loading. Andon is not loading. So let me try a different demo. That That's a pity, really, because you'd think that the game would work. I'm just wondering if there's something going on in the background. Maybe i um, doing something. Let's try Unholy. I'm going to try another game called Unholy. You see, and there's this little circle thing. I don't know what that circle thing is. You know what? What if I jumped into... You know what I want to do? I want to jump into big, uh, big picture uh, thing mode on on the Steam, and see if that's gonna. Oh, this closed. I'm surprised. So Undone is available on Steam Store. It's available on the Play Store. It's available on um, on your uh, Apple phone like this, like I'm showing you guys. So it's actually available. So if you want to play Undone. This is the game, guys, on iPhone, Android phone, on Steam. Uh, okay, guys, I don't know what's going on with Steam. Nothing is working. I mean, nothing is loading, so <laughs> I don't know what's up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into big picture mode. That's big picture mode, guys. And hopefully, I'm hoping something will load. But I don't know why it's doing this. Let's try Unholy from here. You see? So it's actually stopping. It's only stopping because I I was trying to get it to work. I'm wondering if the game has been released. If the game has been released, maybe that's why it's not loading. Because obviously if it's out, then there's no point in trying to start it. But this was a demo. How'd you get out of this thing? I've actually got my... I've got my uh, PlayStation thingy attached to this. Let's try it undone again. What? It says multiple restarts have failed. Repairing the game client may help. Do you want to repair the game? Like, uh, cancel this. Multiple restarts. I'm trying to start the game. It won't work. Anyway, it's recognizing my gamepad. Uh, guys, I'll make another video.